Hey everybody, great to see you back. And today we're joined by another of my unicorn friends. This is Cornelius. You know, friends, I just love the tales of unicorns, the fables, the folklore, the, the fairy tales. And there are some of those tales that are a little bit daunting because they talk about going out and chasing the unicorn with nets and clubs and ropes and all sorts of things. But the stories I like best are when someone who's seeking the beauty and the loveliness and the joy of the unicorn just sits quietly, usually by a lakeside or in a garden. And the unicorn comes along and rests right next to them. You know, sometimes you and I go out chasing this and chasing that and pursuing this and that and the other. And sometimes we do well to just sit quietly and reflect inwardly and wait. And there's some mudra and some breathing that can help us do that. Hey, Cornelius, I'm going to put you down for just a minute, okay, so everyone can see both my hands. Is that okay? Yeah? All right, so I'm going to put Cornelius right there. This way you can see both my hands. This is Angusta Mudra. To do it, you just curl your hands into gentle fists, and then you put them in front of you and touch your pointer fingers together. To this mudra, I like to add 12, 12 breathing. Inhaling through the nose to a count of 12, exhaling through the lips to a count of 12. Let's try it. And. Yes. And you can do this breathing and this mudra just as frequently as you would like and as many repetitions as you would like. So I hope sometime, I hope you give yourself the opportunity to just sit quietly and go inside and find more and more resources for beauty and joy and happiness. Well, Cornelius, it's time to wave goodbye to our friends at home. Would you like to wave? Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye, friends. Friends Cornelius and I hope you have a great rest of the day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.